news. Tonight we're learning more about the massive police reform bill passed in the overnight hours at the state capitol. We're hearing from Duluth police about the 15 new pieces of reform which will apply not only to DPD but every department across the state. The reform comes just eight weeks after the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. CBS 3's John Cardinelli spoke with the Duluth police chief about the legislation today and explains how it will have an impact here in the Northland. It was an historic morning for Minnesota's second special session. In a special session, 15 provisions is amazing. Those 15 provisions, part of a bill that aims to reform policing across the state of Minnesota. This legislation for me shows me that they did their homework. Duluth Police Chief Mike Tuscan says one particular thing stood out to him on the bill, arbitration reform. This is really arbitration reform to me. Uh, is much more about holding up the good work of the people we have uh, and it also is holding into account people who are in this profession that perhaps should not be. The new provision on arbitration would create a panel of six appointed community members to provide oversight on the process in an effort to make it more transparent. This is a very good first step to moving in the direction of professionalizing, uh, further professionalizing policing. Other provisions in the bill call for the banishment of chokeholds and warrior style training. For us, for more than 20 years, we haven't taught or trained uh, chokeholds. While Chief Tuscan says the department is already following much of what the bill calls for, there will be some new changes for the department. Now there's going to be uh, use of force reporting that's mandated to the Minnesota Post Board. Uh, that will be monthly, and so it's just us uh, will we'll be having to uh, do some reporting that we otherwise haven't been doing. Overall, Chief Tuscan says the bill is something that is needed. The changes that were made were necessary uh, and will improve the, uh, the end work product that we provide our communities. While some lawmakers say more legislation will need to be passed in the future. It will not end there with the passage of this bill because there's a lot of work that will be required to protect black bodies. For more information on the bill and a list of other provisions passed earlier this morning, you can head on over to our website.